emblem that signifies the strength and resilience of who we are as people of St. Thomas. Paul Bogle was no little dibby dibby man. He was a national hero whose work had far-reaching implications for Jamaica at large. And I'm sure, Councillor Phil Ashaw, that Dr. Charles will do everything in our power. We have to hold each other accountable and we have to solicit the unity to ensure that what needs to be done, we need a first settle. We must preserve our natural, cultural, and national heritage, whether it be our buildings, monuments, landscape, artifacts, traditions, knowledge, memory, food, or music. At this time, Daniel Williams of the Yalas High School will come now and read the citation in honor of the right excellent Samuel Shaw. And to lay the floral tributes will be Assistant Superintendent Desmond Morris of the Jamaica Fire Brigade in St. Thomas. Dr. Mitchell. 
Church House, Member of Parliament, St. Thomas Eastern, other councillors and members of government here and their representatives, uh, the leadership of the Parish Church of St. Thomas, members of our uniform groups, uh, community members, representatives of agencies of government sharing with us this morning, and of course, our distinguished delegation of honorees. Let me, on behalf of the Jamaica Cultural Development Commission, welcome you to yet another staging of this salute to our heroes and awards function right here at the Anglican Church, Parish Church, Morantse. This year we celebrate under the theme of reuniting greatness through our heritage. And one way of reuniting this greatness is by publicly acknowledging those persons who have served us in different areas, who through their work have exemplified distinguished workmanship and have served our parish and our community. And so, at this time, I'm going to invite us to stand for the national anthem.
1, 27, and verse 1, except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Oh, yeah. This morning, as we gather together in this very special occasion to observe this special award service and also giving thanks to the Lord. The theme of our celebration today is reigniting greatness through our heritage. My brothers and sisters, when we think of all that God has allowed us to achieve over these many years, you will agree with me and shout a very loud hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Can I just ask us now to go ahead and pray? Almighty God, the creator of heaven and earth and all that is therein. We come before your presence this morning in this a very special service, award service and recognition for all those who have labored to make our land Jamaica a beautiful place. Lord, we are reminded that except you build the house, the laborers labor but in vain. We are reminded that except you, Lord, keep the city, the watchman waited but in vain. And so this morning, Lord, we look to you as our source. We ask God that you will intervene in every aspect of our lives, in every aspect of our planning. This is because, Lord, without you, we are total failures. This morning, God, we lift up Jamaica to you. Thank you for this another year that you have allowed us to be celebrating National Heroes Day. Lord, we want to thank you for those who have already been established as national heroes. Lord, we want to thank you for the contribution that they have made. And Lord, they are no longer with us. But Lord, we are here today standing upon the foundation that they have laid. God help that we will build on that foundation in a very positive way. And Lord, we will also endeavor to pass on to those who come behind us. And we pray that they may find us faithful. This morning, oh God, we pray for our national leaders. We pray for our Governor General. We pray for our Prime Minister and his cabinet. We pray, Lord, for the leader of the opposition and his shadow cabinet. We pray, O oh God, for our members of parliament. We pray this morning, O oh God, that you remember our, our custodians. We pray, God, that you remember our counselors and mayors and the judiciary and Lord, every arm of our government that serves as a protection for our nation. We say to make a land we love. In the name of Jesus, I pray even for the awardees that are who will be awarded in this ceremony today. You see, you know, and Lord, understand the contribution that they will have made to our country. 
they would have made to our parish, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will cover them under your blood. Oh, thou great deliverer, we commit Jamaica into your hand one more time. Lord God, so many things are happening. Some are good, but there are some that are good. But Lord, we ask that you will steer the ship that is called Jamaica. Lord, be the captain of it. Because as the word state, that except you build the house, except you lead, oh God, this nation, we are but total failure. We are reminded by your words, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. You are Lord God Almighty. And Lord, we commit all things into your hands. Bless this function today. Every aspect of it, let it be graced with thy holy presence. And Lord, when we would have come to the end, we all may say, Yes, it was good for us to be here. Hear us now and bless our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much, Reverend Muir, for having invited the Lord's presence here with us this morning. At this time, I'll invite uh, CEO of the St. Thomas Municipal Corporation, Ms. Claudia Carter, who is representing Councillor Michael Hugh, his worship the mayor, to come now yeah. and be us welcome. in an age where it seems 
exerting other cultures are infiltrating the minds of our young people. Not only does the JCDC showcase the heritage we, but they also they are also integral in the festivals in schools, reminding the children of where we come from and our culture. The festival queen competition and the festival song competition, all of which showcase our heritage. Thanks again, JCBC. It is in this attitude of gratitude that I welcome all of on behalf of his worship, the mayor, Councilor Michael Liu. In our celebration of heritage, of Heritage Week. Indeed, Jamaica 60 and beyond. Let us exhibit the indomitable spirit of Paul Bogle as we seek to declare who we are through our history, our origin, and our culture. Welcome. Enjoy the rest of the program. God bless you. Thank you so much, Ms. Carter. As is customary, ladies and gentlemen, we gather here in our parish square, be it on the old side, as we are more accustomed to, or this year as we are in church. And we remember the significant work uh, put in by our national heroes that we continue to celebrate and memorialize every year and indeed every day of our lives. The privileges that we have, the rights that we have, we enjoy because of their sacrifices. In addition, we also, perhaps for the last seven or eight years, we gather to recognize those stalwarts within our immediate community who have worked tirelessly, who have served, who have dedicated their lives' work to ensuring that our parish is remembered for greatness. And so today we're going to be doing just that. The event is two parts or twofold. We acknowledge and remember our national heroes and we celebrate those unsung heroes here with us today who continue to work and shape the path for the rest of us to follow. And so at this time, I'm going to be inviting uh, Herma Lawson, JP, who is going to be coming now with the message from the Governor General. She's representing Custis Rotolorium of St. Thomas, the Honorable Marcia Bennett, CBJP.
we have experienced setbacks and challenges which could cause us to despair, but we forge forward, knowing that we walk in the footsteps of heroes and we seek to ensure that the sacrifices they made are not in vain. As we look to the future, confident in the firm foundation that was laid decades before, we must acknowledge and be grateful for the accomplishments that we have attained. This year, we are thankful for attaining 60 years of nation. Being spared the ravages of hurricanes and other natural disasters. Returning to some form of normality after the devastating COVID-19 pandemic, which was at its height in 2020 and 2021. The outstanding examination results by some of our bright and talented young people. The success of our athletes and musicians and our continued international dominance in the fields of sports and performing arts. The contribution of the recipients of national honors and awards, and most of all, divine guidance over our nation. The theme for Heritage Week 2022, reigniting greatness through our heritage, challenges us to establish and anchor our sense of identity to build a cohesive, confident, and resilient society. We must preserve our natural, cultural, and national heritage, whether it be our buildings, monuments, landscape, artifacts, traditions, knowledge, memory, food, or music. This is what makes us uniquely Jamaican. I trust that in our reflections on the traditions and various features of our heritage, we can be inspired by who we are and embrace the past with the knowledge that we have a good heritage. Congratulations to those who have received national honors for their service in the public and private sectors, the church, Sports, academia, culture, and the diaspora. We also recognize those who have, with great gallantry, displayed exemplary bravery to, to save lives, as well as those who have given long and faithful service. It is our responsibility to build on the positive legacies of our forebears and protect the heritage that will continue to engender pride in our nation. That is 